Hey everyone, Selena for Who is Jesus Today. How's it going out there everyone? You know, today I want to share um, a thought that I heard from a world leader, the president of El Salvador, Nayib Bukele. And so I just wanted to acknowledge what he said because you know, it is really good to have a politician um, right who is running a nation who is not who will not hold back from calling out evil for what it is spiritual warfare right the violence that takes place in, in, in cities the gang activity uh, you know it's connected to a cult it's 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 all a part of the world of a witchcraft of com control and power okay um, and deception and violence and so yeah you have to call it for what it actually is it appears to be something on the surface but under the under the surface this is what it is and you know um, I when it comes to a uh, social issues right uh, and political as well we can address them on the surface we address these issues in the natural and rightly so but but what's going to be the cure where do we get to the really the heart of the matter and so this is a statement from um, President Bukele and I really it really uh, gripped uh, my heart that it would be said from uh, leaders around the world of nations if you win the spiritual war it will reflect in the physical if you win the spiritual war it will reflect in the physical right here's a world leader for the nation of El Salvador and if any of you out there you are familiar with uh, the situations in that land uh, the issues of gang activity and violence and so here is a man of God who cares about uh, the citizens of his nation that they can have more uh, peace in the land and to take this on it isn't just a, 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 an issue that we can just leave in the social a, a dynamic or in the political although that's very much a part of it right it all coexists but if you win the spiritual war it will reflect in the physical I want to say thank you President Bukele for really calling that out for what it is and much respect to you for uh, saying that and to you would uh, continue to be the man of God who leads in the nation of El Salvador and we like to say for uh, countries around the world uh, that this would be heard more and more so it's good to have here in the Americas someone that is speaking of the truth of the conditions of the nations of the world and in our lives personally if we can deal with our issues in the spiritual realm it will manifest in a positive way in the physical and how we do our life dealings with each other right and so that's what we need to tap into the spiritual realm because the spiritual realm will get things right in the physical right the supernatural and the natural coexist but we know that our God is a, a way maker a, and a miracle maker and the yokes of bondage can be broken and people can be delivered but that is in the supernatural realm and then we will see the manifestations of that in the physical amen to that thank you and uh, those are my thoughts and I just uh, encourage you to continue to pray for the leader of El Salvador and for the leaders of the world and for the leaders that you're not too uh, fond of and for the ones that you also despise let's bring them to God because the heart of the king is in the hand of the Lord you can like and subscribe. Until next time, Shalom.